Do you guys like drinking? Do you guys like alcohol? Do you guys like comedians? Okay, cool. Then you're going to love this. Big news. This is the biggest news you'll ever hear on this podcast. This is the biggest thing I've ever done in my entire career. I am more excited for this than the birth of my second child. Oh, so Sorry, Ala. Bertrand and I are launching our very own vodka. Poor Osos. Poor Osos it is. For bears. I love the word Osos. And Tom's fluent in Spanish. And when he said it, it just sounded like it wanted to be in my mouth. Osos. You know, like Latino guys just have their way with you. <laughs> is that how you feel? We want our vodka to have its way with you. Yeah, and I think it's going to. Oh, my God. What? I just realized I got to break up with Tito. Yeah. I'm never going to say double Tito's and soda, big glass, no luck. Ever again. Oh, my God. That's like when you, you looked in your phone and you stole your dad's number and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Can I call him? I'll never say double Tito's big glass, no line. I'll never say hi, double. Dad. Poor Osos and soda. You know what you say? Double Osos. Double Osos and soda, big glass, no line. Double Osos and soda, big glass, no line. Vodka's good for you. Cringe, 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 cringe. And the grift keeps going on and on and on. First things first, Tom Segura doesn't even drink. I know my fucking your mom's house law. Tom Segura doesn't even drink that much. He always speaks about how much of a lightweight he is. He's always amazed at how much drinking Bert does. He doesn't even drink that much. Tr Tom is not even a drinker like that. He doesn't really like hanging out at bars. He hates doing meet and greets. Like he's the opposite of a fucking vodka drinker. A vodka drinker is you'd imagine to be someone very loud, very in your face, very um, much with the people's very much at the bar necking down vodkas right it's different from maybe whiskey's more of a solo drink at home but most people that drink vodka are usually social they're really exactly they're really out in the streets they're really about that life tom isn't about that life at all and now he is trying to sell you a vodka with a spanish name fuck off fuck right off trying to sell me vodka with a spanish name because one one half of the duo speaks spanish and you don't even know that if you're not a fan of his. If you weren't a fan of Tom Segura's, you just think he's some regular white dude, right? Just looks like a regular white guy. You'd never think he speaks Spanish anyway. So what's the point of having having it? What what's the point of having it have a Spanish name anyway? Big up Uche. Poor is this emphasis on poor. <laughs> <laughs> Por osos el pol el poros. Oh my god, big up Uche. Yo. Oh my god, I just clocked. The irony of Tom Segura trying to sell vodka, one of the cheapest liquors to produce, to literal pours. So now you need pours. Now you need us poor people money. Now the pours are useful because you want us poor to buy your cheap fucking vodka who would have guessed it the man who said he doesn't need pause pause need to do this they, they you're poor for a reason because you don't have a good work ethnic and because your father wasn't a fucking multi-millionaire before you were 21 anyway right nah now all of a sudden these motherfuckers they need our poor dollars they need our poor pounds they need our poor euros they need it can you imagine god almighty mate what a fucking unapologetically disgusting opportunistic grifty grift ever in a like fair enough this was Bert because I remember mentioning it before do you remember I said on the stream the other day I was like I was actually surprised that Bert never actually got a Tito's deal like what happened with that because I remember when I actually did used to watch a lot of Big Up Coiler someone in two lazy comments said it should be named Rogan's Six Oh my God! Big up two ladies to try, and big up two ladies to try as commenters. That is a fantastic name. Rogan Six would have. Oh my God, that is really good. Rogan Six is really good. I love that name actually. I fucking love it. Uh, big up you, Coiler. Big up, big up, big up. Bros, do you actually know how insane this is? Like I said, if this was Bert, this would make more sense because I think Bert. 
is probably more deserving of a drink sponsor than anybody in the stand-up comedy scene. Even more so than Shane Gillis, even more so than Mark Norman. Bert should really have one. Like I know we all don't like Bert and Bert's annoying and he gets on our nerves, but Bert really does deserve a drink sponsor. Like he's unapologetically the proper alcoholic. And he actually, I mean, he loves to be the center of attention, all that sort of shit. So he actually should get a deal. I'm, I'm actually just thinking about it now. I wonder why he never actually got one. Forget even Tito's. Why did he never put out his own liquor, do you think? Or even do some sort of beer brand link up? Because he's the prime person for it. Everyone else did one before him, right? The guy with the white hair, I forgot his name. Um, Ron something, right? He's got a vodka, he's got a drink. Uh, Mark Norman has one. Shane Gillis has one coming up. Everyone's got one except for Bert. Why did he have to wait that long to get his own deal? Yeah, Ron White said, Ron White has his own tequila, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think maybe Bert's not good for business? Oh yeah, shit, someone said in the stream. Someone said in the stream when I mentioned it, I forgot who said it, but someone said maybe the the liquor brands don't want the liability of signing up Bert and then having him die. Yeah, okay, there we go. Agent Orange said it exactly. There you go, Agent Orange. Thank you for putting in better words for me. Agent Orange, Bert doesn't, doesn't look like a responsible drinker. Companies need that protection clause. Bingo. That might be the reason why then. Wow. Wow, bro. Imagine drinking so much that companies can't sponsor you. I guess it's similar to like, um, it's similar to that streamer, isn't it? Only Use Me Blade, right? Do you guys know that streamer? That live streamer Only Use Me Blade. He drinks a lot and he gets fucked up on stream. But no liquor brands are going to sponsor him, are they? Because he's a literal degenerate. So that is the same sort of thing there as well. Because you don't want to be responsible for having him die on stream. That will be wild. That will be wild. But yeah. Um, in case you don't know, um, Bert Kreisch and Tom Segura have linked up to um, sell fans or people else a vodka that they put together. The name of the vodka is called Por Osos. Um, they've even got an Instagram set up about it already. They've already got 20,000 followers on this Instagram account. Um, for their vodka which is only available in california florida and texas um coming up in march it's called por osos um and then it's got there's a there's the bottle of it it features that kind of design with the white label and the clear bottle um the the logo text doesn't really match the two bears thing you know i don't really know what that means um Anybody that speaks Spanish, what does por osos mean? What does that mean? For who? Is that for us? What does that mean? What's osos mean? I know por is for, but what does osos mean? If any, if people can speak Spanish here in the stream chat, let me know. What does osos mean in Spanish? Oh, four bears. Okay, cool. Four bears. So that's four bears. Are the, Maybe I'm the maybe I'm the idiot here, but I don't think the text matches the logo. I like the logo. I think the logo is cool. I don't like the texter. Or maybe get rid of the, the or maybe get rid of that embossing. Maybe you don't need because there's basically three logos on the bottle. There's the embossed osos. There's the two bears screen printed on there, and then there's also this paper label sticker thing. They could probably limit it. Maybe take something away here. You probably don't need all three logos on one bottle. Um, the lid is pretty cool. I like that clear lid with the red with that red label. That's a pretty cool little design thing that can stand out from the shelf. I don't really mind that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what you're gonna say? And that's it, really. The logo is a bit shit on the hat. I'm not really for it. Oh, that's a good one, Uche. Dos osos, true. That's a really good point. Dos osos, as in two bears, will actually sound way better. I wonder why they didn't just call it that. Maybe because there's already a vodka about that already. Is it Dos Osos Vodka? Is that always if they already exist? Dos, Dos Osos Tequila. Yeah, there's, okay, it already exists. That's probably why. That's why they didn't do it, um, Uche. There's already an Instagram account with, an, with a, a company called Dos Osos. Yeah, see? Whatever this is. Viva, Viva La Osos. I don't know if this is real or not, but there's already a company that's doing tequila called that. So that's probably why they didn't use the name and they changed it to four, four osos, I'm assuming. That's probably why. That is probably why I'd assume. Osos Negro. Oh, there's already, 
there's already actually another one called Zorro. There's there's a what? There's an Oso Negro. Wow. That's a bit racist, isn't it? <laughs> Oso Negro, huh? Okay. You couldn't call it any other name. It had to be Negro. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, um so the label I don't mind, the bottle I don't mind. Sorry, the, the the design of the bottle I don't mind. I don't like the three logos. I like that red little tab there. The clear top is pretty cool. Um and they've also got some other promo pictures which look incredibly redacted and very, very, very lame. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, Bert has to have his t shirt off. Obviously, has to have his t shirt off. They've got t shirts, they're holding the bottles like that. Tom doesn't even fucking drink. That's fucking funny. You can even tell from the picture. Look at the picture. One person looks like an alcoholic and one person looks like he spends his time in a gym or steam room. Look at their faces. That looks like an alcoholic. Look how blotchy he looks. Look how fucking inflamed he looks, right? He looks really bloated and inflamed, like a literal corpse that you find underwater. And Tom just looks like a regular dude, right? Bit of a psycho, right? He's the kind of dude that's like just staring off into space when he's picking up his kid during the school run, right? He's only he's to pick up his kid, he's just sitting on the bench, just staring into space. But this is fucking incredible, the fucking grift. What an incredible, incredible grift. Um, obviously, we've got some more promo images too we can check out here. We've got a promo image featuring Bert at the barbie with Tom. Doesn't this look kind of AI-ish? People in the chat, am I, am I freaking out? Or does it look like AI? This looks like he, they did this in fucking um, one of those fucking generators, no? What do you think? This looks very AI-ish, isn't it? This image. Even <laughs> I'm trying to look at the fingers if they've got too many fingers there. This doesn't even look like it's a real picture. <laughs> what do you think there? <laughs> um, then we got more here. Paul, look at them. Paul Osos, vodka, make friends, allegedly. You got this picture there, which, ugh, come on, man. Like, Imagine being their age and doing this. Imagine being their age and doing this. Imagine being their age, 50 plus years old, and this is what I have to do to make money. As if you don't make enough money as it is. As if they don't make literal millions from their podcasts. Literal millions from their tours. Literal hundreds of thousands from their merch. But still, any money on the table just has to be taken. It's like, how much is enough, bro? Like, That's why you can say what you want about Rogan. I know Rogan has his faults. But Rogan will never do this. Rogan's going to try and sell us AG1. But Rogan's going to try and convince us that if you take on it, you're going to fucking speak seven languages and shit, right? But at least Rogan won't do this. At least Rogan won't do this to us. Look at this shit. It's just dirty, man. Dirty, disgusting, just greedy, grubby, greedy, money-hungry cunts. Like, God almighty. I don't know who these guys are, but advert there. People sit at the bar. More logos for you to check out. Check out. Oh, look, funny. Look at this funny comedic. Look at this funny comedic image, people. Look. There's Bert behind the bar lifting up his trousers while Tom does something. It looks like he's sucking his dick. Ha ha. Ha ha. So funny, huh? More gay humor. Ha ha. This is the only way to make people laugh. Dicks and people sucking dicks. Look, gay stuff. Ha ha. Gay stuff, guys. Couple of middle-aged men. Gay stuff. Ha ha ha. That's so funny, right? Being gay is so funny. Ha 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 ha. All right. Whatever you say. Um... And then the announcement, of course. Um, and then, of course, if that wasn't more, if that wasn't it, if you want some Pod Osos merch, because I've seen the people in the chain chat saying, Agostino, where can I get a T-shirt? Where can I get a hat? Well, I got you, mate. You can get it at drinkpodosos.store. Yes, they've got an entire store laid out for you too. So in case you don't want the merch, in case you don't want the drink, sorry, you can buy some merch. A merch with a hoodie on it, we got one with the fucking t-shirt that says drinking all stars that Bert is debuting, even though he doesn't wear t-shirts. You got one that says Bor Osos on it. Vodka Co. Mexico, Texas made, allegedly. Another one with top with Bert there. You got a cap if you want to buy one, a trucker cap. Trucker cap is $35. $40 for the t-shirt. $80 for the hoodie. <sighs> Honestly, man. Honestly, who the fuck is buying this shit? Like, who? You have to be a real fucking super fan of them to buy their shitty vodka they just launched t 
merch like really like as if you oh they need their your they need your support no they don't <laughs> they don't need your support they probably need less of your support they've got too much of your support mate this is fucking crazy it's a full launch full fucking press court launch yeah exactly Uche, exactly don't be surprised if they if you do see them on fucking your mum's house very 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 soon i'm interested to see that what the prices are going to be though when they sell it well, how much do you think the bottles are going to be will they be like 50 dollars or something right what do you reckon they'll be i wonder how much they're going to be price wise that's what i'm curious about how much will they price this shit at? will it be like stupid prices will they try and keep it somewhat reasonable for the fans or will they try and charge like a hundred dollars for the bottle <laughs> they're trying to do brendan shaw pricing i wonder I wonder if they'll try and do some Brendan Shaw pricing. I wonder if they'll try and do some Brendan Shaw pricing. I wonder. 6070 says um, Garcia Lifelock. 65 says Fyodor. 45. What's a good price though? Let, let, that's, that's a good question. What's a good price? Because I can't think of a... What's a good vodka brand? I don't really drink vodka like that to be fair. And when I do drink vodka, I drink like this like Polish one from the... 24 hour shop that, that near me they saw like a polish brand but what's a good vodka brand um oh what's it called smirnoff right so how much has smirnoff gone for how much is a bottle of smirnoff smirnoff vodka how much is that going for like a 70 like a 70 cl one how much is how much does that go for is that like a is that like 20 20 20 pounds i don't know how much that goes for is that 20 pounds how much does a vodka 70 CL of Spearnoff go for? <laughs> wow, is that much it is? Shit, vodka's pretty cheap. Spearnoff vodka is like 15 pounds. Shit, I didn't know it was that much. <laughs> Holy shit. So Spearnoff equivalent to um 20, is that? Jesus Christ. Um, How much is Tito's? Let me see Tito's here. Tito's. Tito's in the UK is quite expensive though. Tito's at 25 pounds. It's NPC vodka. It's worth like ten dollars. Yeah. So, what do you think he'll he'll charge it at? Do you, do you, do you think he'll charge it at? If if they're being if, if they really care about the fans, they'll probably charge it at what under fifty dollars in it. If they care about the fans, if it's about making friends, it's about maybe you know, they'll probably charge it fifty. They'll probably oh yeah, Bacardi, yeah, true. They'll probably charge it under fifty. But if they don't, it'll probably be like sixty dollars. Fifty dollars with a sixty dollars with a free hoodie. Or a free hat, actually. Whatever the cheapest thing is. Free hat plus $60. But yeah, I didn't know the vodka was that, that cheap, bro. Shit. God damn. Actually, how much is... Bac Let's see Bacardi. How much is Bacardi? Bacardi. How much is that for? Oops, Bacardi. How much is that? How much is that Bacardi for? About the same. So Bacardi is about the same price as... um as Smirnoff in the UK. It's 18 pounds. Smirnoff starts so about 18 as well. Shit, I didn't know it was that, that cheap. Vodka's really cheap to make, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. Mamma mia. But yeah, let's see how much they, let's see how much they do it. Um, To end it, look at this. Look at this. To end it, to end it, to end it. Look at this cringe shit. Pick up the, your, your mom's house subreddit. Look at this cringe shit. Look at this fucking cringe shit. We're best friends. Of course we share toothbrushes. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to watch your dad shower. We're best friends. Of course we've seen each other's dicks. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to tell you you're fat. We're best friends. Of course we hate the same ethnicities. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to dig through your trash to steal your identity. We're best friends. Of course we have a wife murder pact. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to force you to drink from my colostomy bag. We're best friends. Of course we've had our dicks tethered together and been electrocuted at the same time by a dominatrix. We're best friends. Of course we're going to secretly sign each other up on Raya. We're best friends. Of course I signed them up for Grinder. We're best friends. Of course we're going to massage each other's prostates. We're best friends. Of course we come at the same time. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? One more time for people at the back. One more time. We're best friends. Of course we share toothbrushes. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to watch your dad shower. We're best friends. Of course we've seen each other's dicks. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to tell you you're fat. We're best friends. 
Of course we hate the same ethnicities. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to dig through your trash to steal your identity. We're best friends. Of course we have a wife murder pact. We're best friends. Of course I'm going to force you to drink from my colostomy bag. We're best friends. Of course we've had our dicks tethered together and been electrocuted at the same time by a dominatrix. We're best friends. Of course we're going to secretly sign each other up on Raya. We're best friends. Of course I signed them up for Grinder. We're best friends. Of course we're going to massage each other's prostates. We're best friends. Of course we come at the same time. Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? Even the tiny bit. Are you not he's just a a, in, a, a a tiny, inchy, winchy bit embarrassed? Maybe he is though, because that face looks kind of embarrassed, right? That face there. Like, how much How much is enough? How much is enough for you to stop doing this? Like, how much money do you have to make to stop doing this shit? To stop fucking, you know, putting us through this shit? How much is enough? That building they're filming in is probably your mum's house headquarters. It looks fucking fantastic. High ceilings, white walls, loads of lights, all these offices everywhere. So clearly they're doing well. Do you really need, is this, do you really, it's all money on the table, money that you need to take, really. The only way this makes sense to me is if in a few months they announce a deal that some big liquor company is buying poor fucking Osos. That's the only way it makes sense. They're trying to do um a fucking George Clooney, right? They're trying to do that thing where they launch a vodka, it does really well for their celebrity, and then it gets fucking sold. That's the only way it makes sense. Because if not... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I can't. Imagine these guys being your dad. That's a... That's a real fucking... um. That's a real fucking cursed gift, isn't it? You get to grow up in LA. You get to grow up in... You get to grow up going to the best schools. You get to grow up not knowing what it, is to, what it feels like to miss a meal, right? All your knees get covered as a kid. But one of the things you have to kind of sacrifice is having a dad like that. Having a dad that's like always on social media. A dad that's talking about shit in his pants. A dad that shits his pants on stage a dad that makes these kind of hacky old guy jokes thing that's the thing you have to give up it's a hell of a it's a hell of a deal in it grow up as a rich kid but then your dad has to be fucking burt crash or tom segura <laughs> that's a tough one you know what i mean i'd rather my dad be fucking you know i'd rather my dad be some fucking warlord or something i swear to god than this that's a fucking devil's bargain there isn't it <laughs> imagine what fucking Bert's kids must think they must hate it when other kids bring up their dad in public and they must fucking hate it so much oh my god bro but yeah I don't know um moving on moving on let's go to the Crystalia thing What's Chris D'Elia saying? What's, what's Chris D'Elia? Actually, let's, one more clip actually from Bert. I forgot. Last clip from Bert. Part of his tour or something. He's doing, what's he doing? Two nights wasn't enough. Come watch me shoot my next Netflix special back home in Florida. Let's watch this clip quick. I took from his Instagram. Let's watch this quick. And then we jump onto the Chris D'Elia stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is why I'm doing my special in Tampa. Nice. It doesn't get better than this. We'll be back. One of the best Cuban sandwiches in the world is right up here. Ah! It's crazy. That didn't suck at all. It was amazing. Hey guys, best night of my fucking life. Thank you. So, he's doing a big tour, or whatever. I just thought back to myself, like when I watched this clip, right, and this montage, I was thinking to myself, why does Bert come across so corny, so hacky, so lame when he does this whole like adult frat boy thing, but the guys at Barstool don't? Why is it? Cause somebody explain to me why is what is it about Bert that is annoying, but the Barstool guys aren't as annoying as him? Because the Barstool guys have the same sort of personality, right? 
They love sports. They drink beers and shit. Big up Mexican How salsa. much is enough money? These people are multi-millionaires. And they keep trying to extract every dollar from us pause. Exactly. Low. Exactly, Mexican salsa. It, fucking exactly. It never ends. The griff never ends. Exactly. Exactly, Mexican salsa. What do you guys think is the, is the case here, brother? Big up you, Mexican salsa. Thank you for the donation, brother. What do you think it is about this? Why is Bert super insufferable, but the Barstool guys are not? Barstool guys um, pretend not to care. Bert is desperate for approval. True. Bert sits on fire hydrants. <laughs> exactly. Josie, Bert is in his 50s. I don't know. Maybe just, yeah, it's true. That's, you know what, Josie? Brilliant, brilliantly well put as per usual. It might be just be the age, innit? It might just be when you reach a certain age, you just look ridiculous. It's kind of like me. Like, I'm always conscious when I go to clubs these days. I'm always super conscious that, because now I do this thing when I go night, when I go clubbing, now I do this thing where I got I find my corner and I just stand there and I have my own little party. But I was thinking to myself, like, if I was looking from the outside looking in, I still look like the old guy in the club because I'm literally in the corner. You're, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to stand out, you're better off s s dancing in the middle, you know? <laughs> so I think with some things, no matter how cool you try to be, no matter how chill you try to be, with some things... Once you reach a certain age, you're always going to look like a dork. Always. You're always going to look like a dork. So I think this is one of the issues. Um, yeah, you, I think everyone's saying, every, what everyone's saying here is right. Barstool guys don't reek of desperation. Oh, Dan Man, no comment on that one, brother. A woman never reveals her age. And I'm a young lady. Uh, <laughs> They're desperate for approval, but Bustle doesn't have this stupid backstory lol of inflate their egos like Bert does. He's too, he has two movies about his life. Yeah, true. Very true, Agent Orange. Yeah, Bert is an old guy. You don't Bert is an old guy at the bar you don't want to be. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, that that must be it. It must be just an age thing. I think you guys are, I think you guys are crush it. Cause I was thinking about it today when I was watching some I was watching some Barcel content. I was like, hold on. These Barcel guys are the same as him, but it's also interesting that maybe this is not this is something that doesn't make any sense. I also find it very interesting how he's never really been fully embraced by Barstool. Only only KFC in that really like him. I find that really interesting that he's never really been fully embraced into the whole Barstool universe, even though KFC are big fans, right? KFC Radio are big fans of him, but Barstool at, at, at large hasn't really embraced Bert. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder because he looks like he should be, it. but that's the thing though. He doesn't. That's the thing about Bert. He likes to drink and go to sports stuff, but he doesn't really know anything about sports, does he? To be fair, I know he used to play baseball, but he doesn't really follow sports, so he's a bit of a weird one. He just likes. But you must have that a lot in America, right? We don't really have that in the UK. In the UK, we don't have that. In the UK, we have guys. If you like beer and you like sports. You just go to sport. You know what I mean? I don't. I think in America, you guys have guys who just like the, they like the vibe of the match or the game day, but they don't actually follow the sport too much. There's there's in it for the good time. We don't really have those type of people in the UK. Either you're into sports or you're not, but you're not just in it for the drinking. You know what I mean? Um, it's like they don't accept aging, always touring, being away from the families, acting like they're in. Yeah, exactly. Z, eternally in their twenties. He's obvious. He's an obvious tryhard. Very good point. Very good point. Screw. I think you're all smashing it. The age, the the desperation, all that stuff kind of just reeks in it. He likes the atmosphere, but has no clue what's going on. It's a social event. Exactly, Dana Man. Yeah, especially with your tail. I love that thing you have in football with the whole tailgate shit, where they everybody opens up their fucking pickup trucks and barbecue in the park. I love that shit. It's, it's very white people ratchet but I think that side of the football culture is fucking amazing I'd love to go there man that looks so fun that looks like a vibe drinking beers and eating like that looks that looks like fucking a vibe but yeah I think you guys smashed it I think you guys smashed it you guys know exactly what's going on there you guys know exactly what's going on there